the warriors Changing our world day by day The way of the drift of warriors Can't rely on the bank, there's no way Good morning, good morning, Vic Square, RoadRoad.com With your morning horn disease, your sip of chaga coffee I don't have it, I'm at my dad's house Um, The bad guys were able to start their run under the moving averages We all know they were gunning for that now they're hoping all the tech funds will sell them their um, their long positions. Tech funds will go short, and then that's how they, you know, get it dirty, rinse, wash, repeat, all that bullshit. One hundred percent market manipulation. The new CFTC commissioners. There's four ladies. They have either no clue, or as I suspect, two of them are in the know because one works for City or worked for Citibank. The other worked for J.P. Morgan. Two of the biggest shorts. Um, in the silver world and manipulation world, uh, along with Bank of America, which I'll get to in a ses- second because our friend Jeffrey Christian over at CPM Group uh, tried to explain away this monster derivative position, did embarrassing job again. Um, somebody has to, you know, put some earwax, take, pull some earwax out of that guy's ears. Um, he is an embarrassment to free markets. He was bought and paid for by Goldman Sachs way back when it's his company split off or Jay Aaron, they couldn't have Goldman Sachs commenting on supply and demand and what's happening in the derivative market. They had to move that company away. That's what invented CPM Group. He's a paid shill and a, a criminal, if you ask me, because he does run cover for the banking cabal. Just keep that in mind. Anyway, silver dropped uh, 2371. I think it'll go lower. Great time to buy. I'm talking to Andy Sheckman today. I'm not so sure that physical silver that you buy will get that much of a discount because once it goes below the moving averages, everybody buys up the silver and then there's nothing left to buy, so the premiums stay high. Again, the uh, COMEX derivative price is not the real price of silver. All right? Just keep that in mind. And here you can see on the... uh, Right here. uh, There it is. The breach of the... Finally, the 200-day the 50-day and the 100-day moving averages all have been breached. So as you can see from back here, it plays around there, and then they go for the big slam. Now, last time, uh, about six months ago, they got it down to about 21 bucks. I don't think the premiums are going to go, are going to allow that kind of a discount on silver. So I'm a buyer. Anything under these moving averages, um, it's it's like maybe a dollar to three dollars to the downside with unlimited upside. That's the way you got to think about it. Uh, if you want to play this game, probably dollar cat dollar cost averaging. So buy a little bit now, a little bit next week, a little bit the week after. Um, physical silver in your own possession only. The derivative game is in deep shit, deep shit. And of course, the reason because they always got to give a reason. They tell the media steep. Price declines in gold and silver amid China COVID worries. Really, you're going to blame that again and again and again and again and again. As we talked about, China shutting off their exports to the uh, United States, the Western world. This is part of the game. Uh, I've talked about it. Russians in on it. Trump and the good guys are in on it. It's all part of the game. So here's what made me throw up in my coffee this morning. Jeffrey Christian on Friday released this. Uh, <laughs> this discussion, gold and silver index notes reality. What are they? So gold and silver index notes are basically derivatives off equities. So a derivative that Bank of America put together and other banks put together and they take that derivative and they structure it off of like the, an ETF. And so it's not a direct silver derivatives. And they say, and Jeffrey Christian saying, that's what the OCC number represents. That monster, what is it, 20-something, $28 billion uh, Bank of America position represents uh, gold and silver index notes. There is no indication of that at all. And it wouldn't even be classified it as a commodity derivative. It would be an equity derivative, which is a different, completely different part of the OCC derivative reporting. So Jeffrey, again, every time he comes out with stuff like this, you think, okay, Why? Why did he have to come out and try to justify this monster short position or monster derivative position from Bank of America? That means they're in trouble. He shows his hand every time. And basically right now, Bank of America has probably been in more trouble than Drexel Burnham back in the late 80s, than AIG back when they were playing with the silver short position. 
bigger trouble than Bear Stearns. And then J.P. Morgan ultimately got busted for $920 million get-out-of-jail-free card. And they now it has been passed to Bank of America. And, they, and Jeffrey says, no, this is all gold and silver indexed equity notes, which is a completely different reporting area of the OCC report. <laughs> so it's ridiculous. But we have freedom right here, potentially. Twitter shares jump as deal talks in final stretch. Elon Musk buys Twitter. I'll jump on Twitter as much as I can. Can you imagine all the truth that's going to come out if Twitter was on the side of the good guys? Even Trump would be allowed to post. The left is losing badly. The bad guys are losing, 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 losing. Every time they turn around, they're losing because they're criminals. The right's got its share of criminals too. Don't get me wrong, but the, the censorship is what I need to get rid of. That's what I've been screaming about in America. It is so blatant, and now all the liberals say they're going to leave Twitter if Elon Musk opens it up to guys like Trump. I'm glad they're leaving, but they, they won't. That's the funny thing. Remember when uh, all the Hollywood stars said they were going to leave the country if Trump got elected? Well, Trump got elected and they didn't leave the country. They make too much money. They're just a bunch of mouthpieces. All these people saying, oh, I'm going to leave Twitter if Elon Musk gets in there. Good. We didn't want you anyway. <laughs> free speech is free speech. And it should be free. You should be able to free to express your opinion. It has destroyed America so badly, this lack of free speech and only hearing one side of the story. So... I'm excited about it. Lots of good stuff coming to Twitter if this happens. All right. I got to get back to my dad. A uh, quick uh, note. We are approaching the end of the month when we'll be allocating all the Road to Ruta coins by number. These are all numbered coins. Um, they're unbelievable. I love them to death. They look great with the red heart painted in the middle. Ruta Lives coins. Get yours today by subscribing to the Road to Ruta. Go to RoadToRuta.com, hit subscribe today. You get um, all the back room information, Jenny Moonstone videos, all my, uh, the Theta page, and all my, what is it, 20 years of research um, in the archives of the Road to Ruta, all the gold in the Grand Canyon stuff. I mean, you could spend a year going through the Road to Ruta archives, truthfully. So go check it out. Hit subscribe today. And we, for every subscription or renewal, we will send you one silver Ruta coin mailed to your front door. Really cool looking coins. Certific certificate of authenticity along with, uh, we, we got back the, uh, the velvet um, holders. So this is, this is the big one. This is going to be, this is definitely my favorite coin now. Although I love the last one, this is even better. So go check it out. This is Big Short. Don't forget, oh shit. Like and subscribe. Definitely subscribe. We're almost at 100,000. YouTube one day will be taken over by Elon Musk. But until that happens, they keep taking subscribers away. So make sure you're still, still subscribed. Click right now. Click that subscribe button and send it to your friends. We are winning this race and it's almost over. I'll talk to you guys later. I grew up in the USA, I was taught that speech was free. Birmingham to Burning Man, you can speak any truth you see. Lately things have changed, they say I can't speak truth no more. And I'm just sitting here wondering who they are working for. See, they, they're gonna kick me off of YouTube. Unless I say 9-11's just another day And they delete my friends on Facebook Unless I pretend that socialism's a okay And they are gonna shadow ban my Twitter Unless I tweet the chemtrails of Perrier Finally they'll ban everything I've got to say As they kill free speech in the USA They decide what's right, they decide what's wrong They ban what won't conform They sit in shadows, they run the gallows Say I must abide the norm 
Without free speech we lose freedom They cut off our free will If I find truth that they don't like They'll label me a shill And then they They're gonna kick me off of YouTube Unless I say 9-11 was just another day And they delete my friends on Facebook Unless I pretend that socialism's a okay And they are gonna shadow ban my Twitter Unless I tweet the chemtrails of Perrier Finally they'll ban everything I've got to say As they kill free speech in the USA They're trying to kill free speech in the USA Now wait a minute It's not like me to give up on a fight I'll expose their evil plans, bring their shadows into light. And I'll name names, I'll play their games, I've got them in my sight. They're trying to change the USA, I fight for what is right. So they, they can kick me off for you too. 9-11's all about building seven and it ain't okay. And they, they can delete all my Facebook But socialists fail every time in every single way And they, they can shadow ban my Twitter But I'm looking up at Kim Trail skies each and every day See they have no right to ban anything I have to say And I'll fight for free speech in the USA I'm gonna fight For free speech in the USA It's my right Free speech in the USA